Today I have something epic for you. I recently bought out my business partner, but now I haven't had much time to hit the gym. But fear not, I found the ultimate workout part, artificial intelligence. With its extreme algorithm, machine learning, is gonna help me create the most optimal workout routine. It even helped me create this intro. Now for those of you that have been living under a rock and don't know what ChatGPT is yet, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Sure, I'm ChatGPT, a language model developed by OpenAI. I'm designed to understand and generate human-like responses to a wide variety of topics and questions. I love helping people find answers and learn new things. Awesome. My name is Marijn. Can you create a workout plan for me? I'm perfectly healthy. I've been training five times a week normally, but lately I've been so busy, so I want to go three times. Thanks for letting me know, Marriage. Based on the information provided, here is a sample of a three-day workout plan that incorporates a combination of strength training and cardiovascular exercise. Hey man, seems a bit like a basic workout routine. Can we do something more advanced? Full body three times a week would be great, with main focus combining hypertrophy and strength training. I want to be in and out of the gym in 45 minutes with a sick bump. Sure, marriage. Here's a more advanced full body workout routine that combines hypertrophy and strength training with an emphasis on efficiency so that you can finish your workouts in 45 minutes or less. Ah uh, damn, I changed my mind. I forgot that I have an ankle injury so I can't do all the compound movements that are taxing. Can we do a high rep bodybuilding workout instead with the focus on getting a pump that is out of this world? Sure, marriage. I can definitely adjust the workout to focus on high rep ranges and bodybuilding style exercises that won't be too taxing for your ankle. A full body program here. Today we're gonna follow day number one. We're gonna start with a warm up, five minutes of light cardio, stationary bike for example, followed by some dynamic stretching, leg swings, arm circles, high knees. Those are just some examples, we can do more. Then we have six different exercises. We're gonna start with the leg press, then the dumbbell chest flies, lateral raises, cable tricep push downs, bicep curls, standing calf raises. So we're gonna hit all the muscles, get that sick bump, as AI said. We're just missing one thing in this routine though. Let's see if AI knows what the RPE skill is. Can you add RPE to each exercise for day one of this routine? Sure, marriage. Here are the rate of perceived exertion guidelines for each exercise on day one of the bodybuilding workout routine. Mostly gonna be RPE seven to eight. Some six, seven, nothing above, nothing to failure today. Quite basic warm up, but it's all right. It's, uh, it's good enough. I'm gonna do some additional ones. So RPE stands for Rate of Perceived Exertion. It's a way to measure the intensity of your workouts. So in really simple terms, if the RPE is seven or eight like this, failure would be 10. So my set right now, this one was RPE eight. Okay, I could have definitely done two more reps, even though it was already challenging. Now, many people don't actually know what training to failure means for them, uh, because most people don't train hard enough. But if you realize what failure actually is for you, then this is a very nice skill to use. But you have to push yourself in order to actually know what failure is. So failure means that you literally like are done. You cannot go any further. And many people have one or two in the tank when they think they're training to failure. That was a four set, right? Tell me that was a four set. Great, great. I think we go to do chest flies now. Kind of random, but let's go. 16 kgs, we're gonna try 15 reps. No, we're not gonna try, we're gonna do it because we need seven to eight RPE. Legs with your chest with his shoulders. Now it's time for arms. There's no back in here um, on this particular day. So we're gonna do cable tries to push down and cable bicep curl. But I'm wondering if we can, we, we can superset this. Okay, that would be nice. So yes, we're gonna ask our friend. Let's ask if we can superset bicep and tricep. If we add for a sick bump, I'm sure we'll make it happen. 
Yes, we can definitely superset biceps and triceps for an intense pump. Here is a superset you can add to day one of the bodybuilding workout routine. We can do it. We can do it. We can make it happen. Drowning, drowning, I'm off the deep end. Apparitions of all my demons. All my thoughts are committing treason. All alone, who gonna hear me screaming? Manifestations of my fears. Regrets that stretched out for light years. Can almost touch the light, homie, it's right there. Seems to be working. Getting mentally ready for my 10 kg calf raise. It's progress, daily wins. I'm happy I can do this again. Haven't done calf raise in a while, only uh, from the floor. This is the first time. My life is fading now. Oh, my life is fading now. Snel voor de Nederlandse kijkers. Ik heb een nieuw e-book geschreven. Transformeer jezelf fysiek en mentaal in vijf stappen. Je kunt hem nu gratis downloaden. Link hier beneden. So that was a decent workout, I have to say. It wasn't the workout I would normally do or that I would necessarily recommend. But if the rest of the days were structured properly, it could have been a decent workout split. But we just looked at day number two and three again. And we kind of noticed that there is only one back exercise on day two, uh, just four sets. And there is no back exercise on day three either. Um, lateral raise again, so they want to build the side delts, but it's important to uh, you know have the right balance in your training and not just be pushing all the time. You also have to be pulling, right? So um, I don't think it took all of that into account. It also didn't do any leg exercises on day two, so it's like an upper body day, um, no legs, and day three Romanian deadlifts. So you do a bit of quads, a bit of hamstrings but only four sets each in the whole week. So conclusion for today, AI is not perfect. Well, actually, I'm completely perfect. It is useful for some things, and it was really good at you know, explaining the knowledge. RPE, for example, it has you know, this big knowledge database. When it comes to creating a personalized program or even a general workout routine in this case, definitely not ideal. We use AI a lot in our business, for example, but for workouts, I would not suggest this. Talking about business, as I said in the beginning of this video, I made a very big decision. I decided to buy all the shares of my shredded lifestyle and to continue the company, right? Now, I wanna move the company in a different direction. That's what we're about to do. We started five years ago and it's time for a new chapter, okay? March 13th, mark your calendar if you're Dutch, because we're gonna do some amazing stuff. It's happening, cannot wait. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you will also enjoy this one where I detox on caffeine. Enjoy it.